Hey, what's going on, dudes? My name is Six Trilogy, and today I'm going to show you guys how to boost your FPS and fix lag and stuttering in Fortnite. <laughs> Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to fix lag and stuttering like I said before in FPS Boost. This video will include the NVIDIA control panel for fixing these issues, so if you are an AMD Red on person, please click out of this video and find another one. I'm sorry I didn't help you. Anyways, let's get on with this video. So what is what you're going to do, what NVIDIA control panel is, is that you're going to right click your mouse and it's in underneath it, your Intel graphics settings. If you know you have a NVIDIA graphics card or a processor or anything like that, and you have a NVIDIA driver inside your computer, and you right click and don't have NVIDIA control panel, I want you guys to click on the first link in the description, which will send you here. This is a driver of NVIDIA page, I want you guys to download it, it'll take about 45 minutes to download and fully install on your computer, and uh, get everything set up. Once you've set up everything, you should be able to right click and click the NVIDIA control panel. So once you've done that, you click right click, click the NVIDIA control panel. The first time you ever download this, this might take a while to load, so don't worry, it's not crashing on you, it's just taking a while to load. So mine here is going to take a while to load because I haven't been using it for quite a while. So here we are, it's loaded up. So what yours guys is going to pop up with, it's going to have this NVIDIA control panel. Your, guy, um, your one might have more settings than mine, it's completely okay, you might have a higher graphics card. As you can see, mine has a GeForce GDX 960M, and um, the FPS I was getting was around 40, and now I'm getting around 120 FPS. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix that today. So, I want you guys to go under 3D settings, click adjust image settings with preview. I want you guys to go down to use my preference emphasizing. Your one should say balance because it should be here. That's the default setting of what you should have. I want you guys to scroll down to performance. Then click use the advanced 3D image settings and then click apply. So once you've clicked apply, your screen, your NVIDIA control panel will start a little bit. It's completely okay. It's normal. The next thing I want you guys going to do is go to manage 3D settings. From here, I want you guys to copy everything I have exactly here. So I'm going to full screen this. So I want you guys to change this to a high performance NVIDIA processor if it's already on order, if it's on order select. Now, ambient occlusion off, anisotropic filtering off, anti analyzing FXAA off, anti analyzing mode off, CDUA, CUDA GPUs all. Maximum pre-render frames is 1. If ra 1 is not working, please 2. If all of them don't work, please try 3 and 4. If 3 and 4 don't work, I, I recommend not doing 3 and 4, just doing 1. But if 1's not working and you've got a lower end PC, try 3 and 4. Open Geo Rendering GPU, do auto select. Optimize for com compute performance, off. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance. Sh shader cache, on. Texture filtering, astronic sam sample, on. Texture filtering negative LOD bias allow. Texture filtering quality high performance. Texture filtering trilinear optimization on. Threader optimization on. Triple buffering off. Vertical sync off. And virtual pre rendered frames one. So this is the most important one the pre rendered frames. Change it to one. Um, it normally should have the use 3D application setting, but just click one. You can do two if you'd like, just don't do three and four. If you play games like Fortnite, please change triple buffering to off. If you play games like Overwatch League of Legends, keep it on. The next thing I want you guys to do is go to program settings. So this is where we want all your good this is where all your good stuff happens here. So this might take a while to load up. No, it won't. Next now I want you guys to do is click this little search bar here. If mine will load. Alright, so click here. If you do not have Fortnite, if you do have Fortnite, select Fortnite. If you do not have Fortnite, just click Add. It's taking a while to load. This should pop up. Scroll down until you find Fortnite. Click Add Selected Program. Once you've done that, choose High Performance Video Processor and then copy everything from Global Settings to here. So if you do have if you do play games from over, like Overwatch and stuff, you guys can change it to on and then go over here and then change it to off. So once you've done that, you guys have to click apply, which is down here. Your screen should flicker and everything. And then you are done. If that all doesn't work, please go down to your search bar, which is next to your Windows icon, and type up device manager. 
it should pop up like this um, go to display adapters it's under disk drives and dvd slash cd rom drives click Navi nvidia geforce gdx 960m disable driver your screen should flick completely normal so this should turn into enable driver click enable driver once you've done that close it verify your fortnite restart your computer and then you should be able to have high fps fixed lag and stuttering and if it all hasn't worked please go into settings and change your re resolutions around and um change your settings around put it all to load turn vertical sync on if you have a laptop and i'll see you dudes in the next video peace out